could be predator me, he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Just about fitted it in. Yeah. And I know it's more to show through there, but let's start at the very beginning at the bottom. I'm guessing that this is just like a overflow dripping situation. Yeah, the collection, because it's, it hasn't got a collection cup on it. It's just, it's gonna collect all the skimmy down there, whereas these have got collection cups. See? I see. So they just cups that come off. This is just a collection. It just okay. means one word. So just to clarify then, that is a big skimmer at the back, yeah? Yeah. And then that's another skimmer. Yeah. Is this a skimmer as well, or is that just an no, old just thing? No, that's just a, um, that's a file pellet reactor. Oh, that's okay. So this is your third, this is your first DIY one, but your third skimmer in this tank. Yeah. So you made it yourself, mm -hmm. as our video showed, um, and you've got it to work in a blinking light in there. <coughs> so, are you happy with it? Uh, I am generally happy with it because it only owes me for the skimmer itself about 40, 40 pounds. That's cheap. And that's about, how big is that, a metre? Oh, it's more, more than a metre, I would say. And it's nice to have one like that because the contact time is all the way up. Right, so explain to me now, that's what I was going to say. You've got bubbles coming in. Yeah. Coming in here. Yeah. So they come in, this water that's coming in here, is that coming, being sucked up the, yeah, by there? Yeah, by the main tank. So there were to do up there, yeah, with the pumps, because I've got to get a different pump. Yeah. But it's getting, it's skimming the main tank. When I get my pump in, you won't see a pump up there. So that's, it's being sucked up there. Yeah. I don't think the picture. Sucked up there, up that pipe, yeah. around, down into the white pipe, yeah. into the black corner, and then here. Yeah. There's a big Venturi valve I bought up there. So are we going to look at that? Yeah. If I get it? But remember, this is all work in progress. At the moment. And there's lights up here, so you might not be able to. But there's a big grey. You probably can't see it. But on the end of this, anyway, the pump pushes through a big Venturi, pool Venturi valve. That's like a great thing. And as it pushes through, it sucks it in. Right? Yeah. But the pump is only 1100 litres an hour pump. So it's not got a lot of power on it in order to push. Okay. In order to push the air. Oh, I can now. I can see. Is that attached? No, that's, no, that's, uh, that's a UV sterilizer. Um, but if you see the bubbles, in, that should be this skimmer should be white with bubbles. So when you say this skimmer, do you mean this central this, this yeah, cylinder? It's getting skimmator, but it's not there's not a lot of bubbles really. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you look at this skimmer down right here. Right, where am I going now? Down here. This is what should it should be like. Can you imagine? Am I sitting down or yeah, we sit getting down. up and talking again? Right. Well, so, you <laughs> so if you see if you look at this skimmer just look at the neck. Yeah. Look at how white it is. Do you know what I mean? You can't yeah. see through it, can you? Ah, uh, yeah. It's thicker bubbles. Like thick. Yeah, but thick this, this is not for the venturing to work. That pump that's working this big skimmer was only rated to work a skimmer this big. Here. Yeah? Yeah. So it's tiny compared to that. And I got a big Venturi valve. Yeah. So when I get, I've upgraded the pump from a 1100 litre an hour to a 4500 litre an hour pump. Oh, yeah. So as it pumps more water, it'll suck in more air. So that should be white, hopefully. Right. When my new pump comes, which is be in soon. Yeah. And then we'll do another video too. But that pump will be in there, you won't see it. So this pipe here that's that's the outlet that's the outlet 
So is that a good thing that there's those bubbles coming out, Not or really. is it a bad thing? No, you don't want bubbles like that in your main tank. Um, it's just I'm running it just to see. Just to get it up and just to get it up and running. In. Check there's any I leaks. Know, so there's a one little tiny leak. I won't just show it because you can't really see it, and it looks a bit messy by there. But there's one little tiny leak by here, and it's every now and then. Don't look into it, Davey. <laughs> well, you can. Just done with it with a leak. You can you see it. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah. And also the. Um, that's all dry up there, which is what was my concern. So when I. I have to put it's a collection cup <coughs> thing on. But then when my big pump comes, we'll, we'll have all these pipes to the side so you can't see it and my door can go back on. That, you know, it's... Right here? Yeah, this can go back on then. So you won't see any... Yeah. You know, any light. So... And obviously the fish are getting, they're getting big like, you know? Yeah. Especially this man. Hello, Lord. And the clown trigger is getting, well, it's getting big, but they're all, you know. He's thriving, isn't he? They're all getting to lumps of the size now. Where I've got to, obviously I'm adding sugar, so. And this here, these this, these skillers, I've modified them. Nobody did that one. It's a, a, a 30 quid skiller I bought. But I've drilled up the air, just letting in more air. Yeah. So it's actually, that's a quick modification. Become, yeah. That's what a lot of skimmers do, they don't want to suck in enough air. And that's what it's about. The more air you can get in, the more. Um, so yeah, that was that's collected that within about. I just turned the taps off now. About two hours ago. Before I went so to the when shop. you say you've turned the taps off, the drain taps look. I see. So these drain. So does that does that collect and then you get so far and you have to drain them off? Yeah. Well, I can. It's good to to make sure that you keep in mind your skimmers because. What you don't want is your skimmer to start overflowing. Yeah. And then, see? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a little skimmer, but I've... Getting off some junk. I can have these, because if you look down here, this is my little drain. And this goes down there, yeah. down there, down there. You can't see it, but that goes right out into the drain, the sewage. Uh -huh. So I could have these, I could have this plugged into that. Watch now the skimmers, the back one. See, I just, so I can have them just opened the valves. Look, and all the, all the skim it. Yeah, it's The skimmers are funny things. Sometimes they'll overflow and overflow and you've got to control all But you don't want man acting really because you could end up getting rid of loads of salt water and then you put a topper, topping in loads of water. Yeah. So I, I like to keep an eye on them, not just leave them open. So have you opened them both? Because that's going down as well. Yeah, both of them, just open both of them. Right then, well, thank you for that update on your skimmer. Yep. And uh, I think we'll do one on the little clown dude now. I think the so, next video, we'll probably do an update on when it's finished. Yeah. When I put the bigger pump on. Okay. And when you fix that little leak. <laughs> yeah. All right then, well, there you go, everybody. That's our update on his DIY skimmer. If you've enjoyed our little chat and you'd like to hear more, please do subscribe so you can find us nice and easy next time. Until then, goodbye. Bye.